I shall submit an invoice to Iron Realm headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get that on my desk by yeah. 5 p.m., please. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, we're moving yeah, on. I think yeah, can we get Gary and DD on? Oh, oh, please, before this thing goes any further off the rails. Absolutely, we've got Gary in. We do. Thank goodness. Oh, oh I just dear. thought we have to get him in here on a whole different thing. I'm just I'm used to the whole Skype deal that we could just they're right there. And we pop him in. I, uh, well, I'll DD's not home yet, so DD's not ready. So he may uh, want to hang out for 20 minutes and wait for her to come on with him. I'm I'm reading messages in Skype. And looking on Zoom, watching him mute and unmute. But I am here now. It's just a question. <laughs> there we go. Gary. Do you want me to come back in 20 or don't we say? No, come and stay no, and chat shit with us. Around. Stay and have a pint. Keep us <laughs> sane, mate. Keep us <laughs> sane. But Keep for the record, home. I don't think I've ever heard anyone on IRM begging for money. So just I for the record. Now. I have now, yeah. yeah. Could, could I have Damn it. We were so clean. Oh. Gary, cough up, mate. Yeah, could I have seven pounds? Because I'm begging for money. Right. <laughs> you can reverse the call charges. There you go. Make it collect and we're good. But as soon as you say that you've never heard anyone beg, that's it. That's a red rag, rag to a bull, isn't it? Well, that's what I'd like. That was, that was exactly the point. It was a red rag to the bull for all those um, miners out there. Go find, go find where we've begged for money ever. I don't think we ever have. No. Until tonight. Till tonight. A couple of sound bites <laughs> could sound all sorts of dodge. Exactly. Right. Our smear video will be out next week on somebody's channel. <laughs> well, before the night's over, it'll be up. <laughs> Gary, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, all good, thanks. And I would ask you, John, um, a little bit of like, are you going to put the money where your mouth is? You said in the past that if we did Amsterdam, you'd be very, very interested. I did. I said I'd be interested. I didn't know if any uh, money money obligations were mentioned <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay we just we just do it as a charity run shall we uh, no i'd just be very interested <laughs> <laughs> oh okay this is your cop-out answer is it uh no this was the original answer that you just quoted uh i'm very interested <laughs> i think it was something along the lines of oh if you ever did amsterdam that would really really interest me because you were you were not interested in any other convention, but Amsterdam seemed to tickle you. So it does. Are. It's it's I almost remember. local, and it's uh, within the duty free zone. Um, <laughs> it's a place after my own heart. It's um, a place I know very well, and I am very interested, Gary. <laughs> yeah. so does that mean that we may be meeting the mighty John Savage? The ginger wig. <laughs> I'm not saying anything about it. <laughs> you know, if we got, if we got, him, got a GoFundMe for the ginger wig. <laughs> I'll tell you, I do you not want to GoFundMe. Just don't even go yeah. there. GoFundMe, John Savage, a ginger take, wig. No, take this away go. from me. This is about this is about Gary, the convention, <laughs> or, or is it I don't think a conference? It. I Rune Thornton that, starting off I with think, the first donation for John Savage. Congratulations. I think, uh, Bugger uh, off. I don't want your donations. Don't, don't, don't. Keep your money. Whoever sent, send it back. <laughs> it won't find its way to me either way. How much have you got? How much has he sent? He didn't do it again. I was just making a joke. Oh, I was going to say, it <laughs> could be enough for a set of sideboards at least if he'd put another six quid in. Nope. That one's to share the pint. I was just making a joke. <laughs> trying to roll John up a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> this is why we need to get Gary in here. Gary's here to just focus us and give us some direction because we're just going to ramble. Cool, your yeah. bluff, man. Okay, what would you like to know? Well, why don't you tell us about what you're doing this year? Because you're not doing the UK um, convention this year. You're spreading your wings, and I know you're helping the guys and feeding back and that, but. Uh, you and Didi are doing this. So just what 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 is your role this year? Um because okay. you were the daddy last year, weren't you? <laughs> the daddy. Um okay, um to give you a little bit of background on how we've got to this point, I um without realizing it, one day became a week, became a month, and before I know it, the whole of the summer was not really concentrating too much on flat earth. I, I don't know if it's to, to do with the convention or I just needed time out it wasn't a planned thing it just literally developed into what it ended up being and i've heard other people have similar things and um 
I think I can't remember if, if Robin Campbell got in touch and asked if I was doing anything knowing I wasn't or, or I wasn't too sure if we were going to do something but to go back a little bit in history Dee, Dee and I went over to Amsterdam first time we ever met we were actually going around Amsterdam or yeah the city centre looking at convention places because even before the UK convention we always felt that we wanted to do something in Europe but it was like put on the back burner because one some of the costs that we were given were just ridiculous and two um, we really needed to concentrate on on England so it was it wasn't shelved but it was just like mothballed and so anyway going back to um, Robin I heard I think maybe through Roxanne or through somebody else that he was quite interested in doing something and I said yeah okay great what are you thinking he said he would like to do a convention at the back of the Globe by Tour and Didi and I had a chat about it you know what did we want to do did we really want to do Amsterdam or what and it really, literally, about two months before the Denver Convention, we're still not too sure if we really wanted to put in the effort, partly down to home lives and other things. And then it got to a point that I decided to go to Denver, and Dee Dee wasn't still sure because of um, family commitments. And then it became available that she could. And leading up to it, we just felt we really fancy doing something. And Obviously, it now looked like the UK was going to go ahead with Robin and Charlotte and Roxanne and Jason and you know, the people there. So it was a question of we either do nothing or support the UK or do Amsterdam. And because Dee Dee has always had this pet love of trying to do something, um, I still was a little bit on the fence. But then when I went to Denver, as soon as I got there and met everyone, because it's not just a question of what you learn there, it's actually the connections. It just became basically a slam dunk that we need to do something and at the same time Robin was actually confirming that it was going to happen in the UK as well and it was we had a meeting and decided the best way to play things and um, so we ended up doing the convention the only thing we didn't know is when and Robin wanted to do September and because of the summer season is not that great for traveling into Europe and obviously Robbie Davidson's doing November it was like oh when do we actually do this and it ended up becoming two weeks after the UK convention. So here we are. That sounds awesome. Yeah. At one point, we to... yeah. sorry to interrupt, but at one point we were trying to see if we could do it a week behind, because that way then anyone coming over from like uh, the likes of Eru, you know, if he's coming or, you know, one from America, then it means they could probably piggyback and try and do the two. But we just couldn't get the date, so it ended up becoming two weeks, which probably helps people in Europe because of the fact of to do two conventions on the trot with you know two weeks on the trot was not easy. But um, yeah, this is where we are, and and to have two conventions is is quite big, but it's actually become even bigger now because I don't know if you know Adam. I think you well, actually you do know Adam. You were in the meeting, but as you know, we've actually not we as in like Didi and I, but we're helping. But there's going to be a, a one guy enormous. Um, global I told us um, going to happen at the same time well do we know but we're banned from talking about it this off but they are <laughs> they are, <laughs> they are they're gonna, they're, yeah they, they're, I've, I've just sown I've just laid the, yeah. the, the the seeds but they're filling in the blanks but basically it's going to be a lot when they come onto the show whenever that is they're going to be able to fill in a lot of detail and it's something really really quite significant that's taking place um, so yeah, so in effect, there's, it's like almost like three major projects happening in Europe, of which they're all connected. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, actually, mate. In terms of the way they're connected and the way they're going to support each other, um, not only the people involved, but also I think from a the way in which they're going to gather momentum for each other and hopefully a bit of advertising and and, and knowledge of the events going off and. Um, so it's, it's great to see, and I was in the meeting, and what I did see in the meeting was Flat Earthers working together, and as you say, nothing's ideal, because you can't get dates here and there, but how things have been jiggled um, by people. Because of your wife. Sure. Well, <laughs> there was that, because my wife's birthday is in the middle, so I am eternally grateful to Gary for pretending that we couldn't get the date the week after in Amsterdam. Seven. 17 tubes of toothpaste you owe me, and it has to be fluoride free. Sold, my friend. Sold. Sold. Only oh, when you, you make good on the coins, Mr. Edda. 
Yeah, but did I say 17 or 27? Sorry. Uh, but yes, we have we have some coins, actually. We do yeah. have, some. have you got a new set of coins for the new convention? <gasps> no. Oh. No, well, we, haven't, say- we, we haven't looked into that yet. It, it may be that we don't. Uh, we haven't gone that far yet. Some medallions or uh, something. Um, are, you like, are you like macho man? The thing is, though, John, what's the point of us making these coins and you don't turn up? Because let's face it, you're a bit of a lightweight. Well, I'm doing it for everyone else, not me. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> you could it's get a dealer. Try and, try and get Gary. To, uh, John, if you're going to go, do him for a coin now. Oh, it's something we can talk about. Do him for a coin. Yeah, just say, if I turn up, do I get a coin for now? You know, That sounds like something <laughs> on the back street. Nothing in it, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit. Do him for a coin, a, mate. A bit, you know, sorry. <laughs> I do, do apologise. One, one thing I will do for you, John, is I'll make sure that cafes in Amsterdam will support you. Is that fair? Cafes will support me. Yeah, they're, 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 they're open at their doors to you, and you can then go in there and buy, I don't know, ham, egg and chips. Yeah. yeah. Mate, I'll, I'll support you in a cafe if we've been in there long enough. <laughs> but when he's falling over. Yeah. So, Gary, Gary, yeah, John. how are you going to top FEIC 2020? Have you seen that they have a flat earth cruise planned? I, I am very aware. I'm, I'm aware of all the things going. Well, I'd like to think I'm, I'm aware of all the conventions, really. But yes, I'm very aware of that. I thought I thought you would be, so I thought you'd be the person to ask. Is, is there any more details on that? Uh, cruise is all it says. Cruise, cruise to. I mean, it's been in our in in RT. It's been on numerous channels. Tell from what the I truth, just John. looked. You want you want to know whether Jane McDonald's going to be on it, don't you? I don't even know who that is. I'm afraid. Sorry. I'll leave. But, it here. She started off life on a cruise ship. Actually, I think she was doing the. Yeah, she was like an entertainer. So um, yeah, I, I must admit I don't I don't really know. Uh, I know of it, and I know that it's going to be in 2020. But I, I, and I think it's going to be from Florida and going to um, the Caribbean. Which if I'm now doing it with an American accent, which I can't do, but I can say it with the intonation is um, Caribbean. Well, that's ridiculous then, because all the news people are saying, um, you know, beware, beware, you're going to sail off the edge of the earth as though they're going to the South Pole or the North Pole or whatever. So I think you can overdo them by by hosting a Flat Earth conference as close to the North Pole as possible. That'd be quite wicked, wouldn't it? Really? Wouldn't it? In Lapland or something, in one of those ice hotels. How cool yeah. would that be? You know, do you want to say John, now, John, that you definitely want to do it and then at a later date you can back out? <laughs> I'd certainly be interested, Gary. He's interested, Gary. That's <laughs> what are you interested in backing out later? <laughs> have you got like, have you got like uh, a job lot? You went to B&Q and you got yourself a job lot of backing out of, you say something and a little bit later you don't perform. No reversing lights here, mate. I'm, I'm very <laughs> interested, as you've quoted. But uh, yeah, that is an idea. The only thing that is, though, you need... You need to go to Amsterdam first, just so you can prove to yourself that you can do these conventions. Yeah, that would be a start, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can... You'll be so it. disappointed when you meet me, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be so disappointed. We'll be saying, is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do need to ask one question. I've never asked this question, but have you met anyone on your team? Like Adam, for instance? No. You've never met any of them? No. No, but you're assuming I want to meet them. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, what we'll do, we, 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 we will hide Adam away. <laughs> I've nearly broke him. I've nearly broke him, Gary. Don't worry. I've nearly got him. <laughs> Brilliant. He's working on it. I think, uh, I've just change the subject, I think Dee may be close, if not already in. Excellent. Yeah, and I, I will say this: she's actually the main driver on all this. She's done so much work with the website, and she's she's got it all mapped out how she wants to do it. She's learned so much since the last convention, and and I, I don't know if if people realise how far this girl has come. It's absolutely incredible, and she's only just t- you know scratching the surface of where I think she wants to go with it. She just really is performing. 
We, we know you do nothing, Gary. Yeah, we, we got that from the last convention. It's well, entirely no, Dee You're just the, no, filling no, the space until it, she it, arrives. So that's wrong, John. What, what I've basically, I've got one role, and I've only got one role, and that is actually to actually get you to the convention. <laughs> and I'm trying now. <laughs> I'm a bot, mate. It's yeah. just it's never going to happen. I'm the yeah. most advanced bot in the, in the <laughs> cyberspace. Okay. So, so Dee are you there? Yeah, nope, I believe she should be here now. Hello, Dee Dee. Dee Dee. I see her there. She's looking for the mute button. Sorry, she'll get it sorted. I suspect. I hope her camera's on. Here she there is. She is. Ah, there she is. Hi, Dee Dee. Did you say that out loud, John? <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you all doing? Hi, Dee Dee. Actually. Wonderful. How are you doing? Uh, late night, so <laughs> <laughs> I see Zach is knitting again. <laughs> so funny. Crochet. <laughs> if you're knitting. lucky, you might get one done for you because he's he's going to be coming to Amsterdam. It'll cost Just you a cost. coin then. <laughs> and that's great. Uh, I would love. I would love a. How did Roxanne call it? A bean. Yeah. 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 Special mm-hmm. type of beanie. <laughs> and they're hemp. Hank's hemp handmade beanies. So, Dee Dee, are, are you, have your feet touched the ground lately? What What do you mean? Um, are you like a duck uh, on water where it looks nice and calm on the front, but your feet are going a thousand miles an hour underneath? <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty calm so far, and compared to last time, I was really nervous. But this time, I'm pretty relaxed. It's, it's, I'm enjoying it more this time. I'm more relaxed. You but I will get nervous nice. when we get uh, closer to the date. No, you won't, because it's in Amsterdam. You'll be even more relaxed. <laughs> Very relaxed, almost comatose. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can imagine it. Somebody says, "Oh, we've lost a speaker." That's fine. Oh, Dee Dee, do not understand. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. And you think, "Wow, okay." <laughs> Just get the birthday cake out, and it will all get better. <laughs> uh, I, I think. It. I think some of it though is the fact that Dee Dee did a lot of groundwork leading up to you know pushing the button. So there's been, and I think Dee Dee also had, had you know, a lot in place in the past that so just got evolved so you know she's as i said she's really on the money well good because dd we've spent the last half hour purposely avoiding any detail whatsoever <laughs> so have we mentioned could... anything about the convention or we, we just... avoided detail so well this morning on tfr you would be so <laughs> proud <of us. laughs> well, i will say we get we brought to a very fine point the difference between a conference and a convention. So we got that out of the way at least. Yeah, I would so, like to know, so let me know after the show what the difference is. Yeah, <laughs> the only thing is, though, Dee Dee, is um, they just know that there's three parts to the whole Europe thing, as in obviously the Globe Light Tour, what they're going to talk about in next week, I suppose, and also the UK convention. And obviously we're looking after the Amsterdam. And all I did is I just explain on how like you and I met first time in Amsterdam, why, and the fact that we were not too sure over the summer for different reasons, and then it just evolved, um, basically going around De- uh, Denver and how we both got the uh, the mojo back, really. So that's that's all they know. Apart from John just you know, reneging on his promise, um, that's it, really. Well, it was a semi-committal. I, I'd like he, to hear he, that promise. He needs to be committed. <laughs> it was probably on air. Somebody is in the back catalog, even as we speak. They will find it, John. Don't you worry. <laughs> I choose my words very carefully. I am still very interested. But yes, Deezy, please give us some details. Details, please. So as Gary said, we found our mojo back and we're really excited to, to bring a large group of people back together. And that's why we decided to do another convention. But this time, because the last time it was close to Gary's home, this time I wanted to try something closer to my home. And we both agreed that Amsterdam would just be the perfect location. 
So, and the good thing about Amsterdam is we already talked about it last year when we were in Birmingham and me and Gary visited Amsterdam. Uh, I think it was the first weekend we met actually. So we had, we had a little uh, history with Amsterdam. So we decided to go back there and that's how it all started. And now it turned into a full weekend of a, a convention where we will have a, a big party and like a, a really cozy gathering on the Friday with uh, a little act there. We're gonna have Jason presenting the globe light to us. That's probably been mentioned. And of course, we're gonna have a small party after that. So, and then the Saturday, we're, we wanna have a whole date of debates because last year we learned that the, the physicist debate, we just had so much fun and we wanted to spend a lot more time doing something like that. So we dedicated a whole day to that. And then the Sunday, we're gonna have a, a couple speakers, which uh, just, we announced a couple of them today as well. So it's going to be a whole weekend planned out and it's going to be in the center of Amsterdam. So people who love Amsterdam, they cannot miss out. So Amsterdam's your hometown, is it, Didi? No, I live in Belgium. That's about two hours away from Amsterdam, which is still pretty close. But it's like I th everybody knows where Amsterdam is. A lot of people don't even know where Belgium is. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. And these physicists, um, these debates, I, I agree. I think they were one of the best um the one of the best shows that you had on um in the uk convention um but please the, you you will send them a little leaflet or a link to how a gyroscope works yeah well maybe gary can tell you a bit more how we did it last year and how we're planning to do it this year cool because uh, the physics debate was something he really wanted to do and we took a little gamble on it and it paid off and i I think everybody agreed that it was something different and we kind of want to build to do it like the next level debate. So I that's something that Gary has been, been working on for this convention. I'm doing mostly the Sunday with the speakers and I'm focusing on the website and all, the, all those things. And, and Gary is doing most of uh, the debate questions. So, so Gary, have you, got, um, have you got Neil deGrasse Tyson in stocks in the foyer of the hotel? All I will say is that the end is nigh. <laughs> it's been nigh for a while, hasn't it? <laughs> what about having a gyroscope sitting there spinning at the registration booth or the door coming in and going out? Oh, great you idea. can show how it doesn't change at all the hours that they're there. I'll tell you what, we, we'd need a custom-built gyroscope, wouldn't we? With you know, really good, like, good tolerances and low friction and everything. Maybe FE... Core that's, could fund it. That'd be awesome. It, it's already it's being right. built. Oh, oh right. you're joking, right, Gary? Oh. Build a beans. Yeah, the only thing is, though, John, we really do need somebody that we can trust to look after it. And I think <laughs> I, nominate, I nominate you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I second that. Now, It'd you? require a commitment, though, wouldn't it, Gary? To be there to look after oh, it, surely. Oh, do, 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 you've, you've, you've got me there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Unfortunately, what we need, we need a man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a bot. Not a robot, right? <laughs> Not a box. Not a fake PO box. Need a proper man with a proper ginger wig. That's it. <laughs> and some have proper ever, teeth. John, have you ever been on the show and you've accidentally had your camera on and then realised? Never. Oh, loads never. of times. Have you not? Have you not seen it? <laughs> You'll have to send your your, your uh, internet minions back to find them. Yeah, if you go back and troll some of our old shows, you can see it. It does happen on occasion. But you just see a big red screen. <laughs> Even when that happens, it's still nothing. Gary, you're uh, unusually obsessed with me. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. I think it's um, and it's not um, it's not um, on the physical front. I've got to be honest. Well, apart from you turning up physically, well, you wouldn't know. You don't know what it looked like physically. It's, totally, it's all the physical. <laughs> to be a dream country. Presence. Well, I just think that you're just uh, an enigma, really. Do you do you exist? You sound like you exist, but do you? <laughs> <laughs> this this path has driven many a. My my hands are on YouTube, mate. <laughs> There's a and, and my one. eyebrow. But we That's want your hands to be on the gyro in Amsterdam. Oh look, you got Rob Durham for that. He's a qualified helicopter pilot. <laughs> for crying out loud, he owns an. Uh, a directional indicator from a plane 
he, he's way better at making videos than me. He actually likes turning up to these things. So <laughs> and he, did. Oh. he did actually turn up at the UK convention as, as did. Adam and like the likes of Zach in, in America. So some of you, some of your guys on this panel actually perform and have balls. John. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Gary. But uh, it would right, be good to get Rob Durham on the panel against the physicists or against a pilot. Bring a, a, a let, blow. Let me get pilot. you out of this one, John. Right, but there is something <laughs> that um, instead of a gyroscope that is being planned, it's me and Zach's had preliminary talks, and I have seen space. <laughs> that we've got for mine and Zach's little attempt to do something there. So there will be something. I'm not going to go into too much because we've not even got a sketch, really. But I've I've been shown how much space we've got, Zach. Um, I still think we're working with a pool table. But um, I still think it's doable with three different optics to get a demonstration of some of your earliest criteria and stuff. So we have got a little plan, something to... Maybe fill the foot. If there was a foyer, really, are we able to see the uh, venue, DD? Or uh, yes, I'm working currently on a on a little trailer, which is supposed to come out in I think maybe two weeks, and it has some footage of the venue. But in April or something, we're planning on to going back, and then we will get more decent footage because uh, this was mostly for me to to have a chat and and to agree on all things and not to film everything. I was there by myself so next time gary's coming too and then we can do some more filming but i'll, I'll get you a little trailer in there have you got weeks. an address uh yes so the thing is we're gonna have two different venues for the friday party we're gonna do it in a little bar it's called the havelaar cafe can you spell that h-a-v-e-l-a-a-e-r <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's on our website, uh, feconvention.com. You can find the exact address and the name. It's a uh, it's a little bar in the center of Amsterdam. It holds about 180 people. And then for the main event, we're going to the uh, public before we line. get to the main event, DD. That that Friday night. What what do we know? What we know about that other than there's a party. Well, the Friday night, we're going to start around 7 and end uh, about midnight because the last ferries and subways, they leave like uh, 12.30. So we want to keep that in mind as well. We're going to start with a, a little opening and then we're going to have a little show, which will be announced in a couple of weeks as well. After that, Jason from the Globe Light Year Tour will, uh, will tell us about uh, their travels in Spain and France. And then we're going to have a little open mic because that's something we tried in Birmingham and it was very successful. A lot of people wanted to stand up and, and talk a little bit. So we're giving people a chance to do an open mic session. And Patricia Steele will be hosting that, uh, that open mic session. And then after the open mic, we're going to have a great DJ, which uh, we will announce as well. <laughs> Sounds good. It's on a need to know basis. There's every two weeks, there's somebody coming out. I couldn't believe how well, um, not to change the subject too much, but uh, I know you were there, Didi. I think you were there for a while too, Gary, at the tavern Saturday night. In Denver? Yeah, yeah we, we Denver? were both there. Yeah, we were there all yeah. week. The great. amount of talent, people could sing so well. I was just, I was blown away. I thought we were going to have, you know, local karaoke at the, uh, I don't know. I couldn't believe the uh, how well some of those people could sing. There's a lot of talent. Yeah. I think it was great that they had like a, a little party after that. But for Amsterdam, because we're going to do the party before the main convention, it's a good chance for people to just get to know each other on a, on a fun base without having the whole big event and... I like I like the the party ID. So we're trying to combine all the best from from what we've learned so far. <laughs> also, uh, we did and I've been having lots of back some uh, back and forth chats that we were thinking about. At one point, it was going to be on the Saturday, but it just makes it a very busy two days. Whereas this way, then people can turn up, and if they're there, they can they can they can come if they've got a ticket, and if they 
do not arrive early enough and they just want to do the convention the next day, then they have that choice. But it just means on the Saturday evening, then people will just do their own thing. But invariably, I think there'll probably be big groups of us uh, going around London, uh, London, start again, Amsterdam, going into some of the bars. And I think, you know, as and when we meet up with people, it, that, that could add a little bit of value as well. What you see on the screen here is the, the, the little bar itself, but then you have another level on the top floor where we, where we can do the DJ and it's like a little dance room. So it's two separate parts for people who just want to have a drink and hang out, they can sit in the bar and people who want to enjoy the show or dance, they can go up to the, the first floor. And I think it's a great idea having like a little, like you were saying, a little get together before the convention even starts it's easier to break the ice when you've had a drink or two you know yeah and this one is really in in city center the convention itself it's a little more on the on the border of the center but this is is main center so it takes about 10 minutes to go from uh, this venue to the, the central train station put the mud flood on now Look at the mud flood on them buildings. Shocking. <laughs> Waiting for it. I couldn't help it. I was trying not to say anything. <laughs> mud flood on the brain, Adam. I just it's getting there. I think so. I think so. A bit of soil's got in the ear. Now that you're showing the the map of Amsterdam, it's important for people to know that that Amsterdam is is really made for tourists and 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 people visiting so there's public transport everywhere you can do most things in just by walking but if you want there's also subways there are buses they have free ferries that go uh, from the, the center to the campsite itself there's just public transport everywhere and you can also rent a bicycle and just discover the city with a bike because i do not recommend driving in the center zoom out a bit john no, I wouldn't recommend riding in the centre unless you've lived in Amsterdam for at least a decade. Uh, it is a death trap. Even walking in the centre, if you visited a cafe, is an absolute death trap. <laughs> it would take me at least 10 minutes to cross a road just to double check I wasn't going to get run over by trams or bikes or a full walk into a canal or but it is i mean this is literally 10 minutes from into from uh central dd can you just guide john to where the um event is no it's here yeah that's the the friday venue and yeah. then when you go to the water uh, you see this little that's a train station and then yeah. on the right side we have the main venue so everything is within this little circle what we're down here uh, a little across the water oh. up yeah by the double tree hilton amsterdam it's on the corner on the water on the right side other That's side of the river john over here other side of the river yeah oh i stayed no, on it he was he was correct i was yeah. stayed on a canal over there this is amsterdam central isn't it the yeah. train station. where your mouse is right now there was the the main venue center it's called oba theater i'll probably put that in maybe what we can do on subsequent weeks is that we can actually be you know discussing the latest releases and talking about that like the the uh, the debate aspects and you know different specifics so uh, i don't know if that works for you guys yeah absolutely there All the go. practical information you can find on the website as well, addresses, maps, and if you buy a ticket, I will send you a document with all public transport options and a map where everything is exactly so. There you go, John. There you go. Perfect, perfect for you, John. And um, what is that website? Effieconvention.com. Lovely. Wow, that looks lovely. I don't think I've been... Uh, probably got lost and found that place, but so that is the public library of Amsterdam. It's the biggest in Europe, so that's five floors of books, and uh, the theater room is on the top floor. Sweet. And we hold about two hundred and sixty people for the theater room. I wonder if we can go in. 
you can, uh, I have a picture of the inside on the website if you're interested to see. Well, I could go in your tiny little coffee shop, but I can't seem to go in here. That's, it's a public crazy. building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh. It's sneaking through the window. <laughs> yeah. Can't <laughs> <a> spider man it. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful building. It's a lovely building, isn't it? Really nice. Lots it is important, though, for people to know, because this is the public library that uh, we cannot allow any form of activism or, or stickering on the wall, because it, people are reading books there. It's a library, so right. I think you consider. Selfie stick. Yeah, very cool. I like the look at that. And so central as well. Really cool. Everyone who's seen the main yeah, so, sorry, John. No, go ahead. No, I say everyone who's actually seen the actual photograph of the actual main um, hall have been um, pretty impressed. I think you've seen it, haven't you, Adam? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Very modern, isn't it? I don't know. It doesn't look very old at all, to be honest. And it looks well kitted out and it looks like the sort of place that you you're just gonna have to plug and play do you know what i mean not like the up issues of last well dd obviously uh, obviously you can go into more detail here but when we were looking at it in the past we were hitting some brick walls whereas when dd went back she um came across different locations and just came across this one and you know and it's been spending the time getting it right because what we had to do with Birmingham we didn't actually go there for the first time until January whereas dee has been doing a lot of groundwork to to try and all the things we've learned from the last time and we're not saying that we're going to do a perfect convention but we're definitely aiming to do something significant and things are so much easier second time around partly down to the fact of our knowledge and partly down to the fact that we're connected to so many people now and it's it's just it's, it's actually quite refreshing really uh, I put a link in the Skype chat where you can see inside the building and you can see the theatre room. It's uh, it's really lovely. Uh, a little practical information: the the main venue is a ten minute walk from the train station, so it's really easy to get to. Link in the chat. In the Skype chat. Yeah, we had we had a previous venue, but it didn't work out. So I went looking all over Amsterdam, and this this is just a beautiful place. It has it's a a, the, a theater room, so it's already set up. So everybody has a wonderful view. There's no chairs we have to move around. It's I'm very very excited and very happy with this one. We're not on Skype. <laughs> I like nice comfy uh, cinema chairs, aren't they? Not like. Uh... A range room it is a, it's a, a purpose built auditorium, I suppose. Is the I put it in the Zoom chat, that's maybe easier. Oh, I got it now. Yes, it is, it is built for, for congresses. So this is the theatre room, which will be the room for the main venue. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will have uh, an option to uh, see inside the, the building itself as well. So everybody will have a, a great view. We have a projector screen in the back uh, where all the speakers and we will project everything we need. So uh, the sound is, uh, is installed, the lighting is there. I think uh, it's perfect for what we're trying to do and a big improvement with all we have learned so far. It looks really nice. We've got the side bit, Zach. Actually, if you look really closely, you can actually see where John's going to sit. <laughs> and you're not reserving exactly. the spot now. John, pick a seat. Pick a seat, mate. Go on. <laughs> Say a number. I'll probably be here. 
Cafe Heather there. That looks like my sort of place. Definitely. Oh, not there. Obsession, Gary. Obsession. <laughs> I know. Nice Can name you for zoom out and take us to the accommodation now? You do well. You've got the map on. Uh, so for the accommodation, uh, Amsterdam itself, it's a really expensive city if you want to stay in hotels or even the hostels, they're about 60 to 80 euros for a night. So I know this little campsite just outside of the city center, which is very affordable. You're, you're in the middle of nature. It's a wonderful little beautiful campsite. And we thought it was a great idea if we go for a campsite and we get a lot of people staying there as well, then we can have like a little... Uh, campfire party you know after the event everybody's in the same location that's that's the goal the idea we're wanting to do it's called camping vliegenbos and i will put a link in the chat so you find it easier that sounds i will just put the convention link because you can have so the campsite they offer, you can bring your own tent and, and do it like really cheap for like 30 euros uh, for a night with a tent. Or you can do the camper van, you can have a little cabin, you can do a little teepee. There's also big groups houses. Uh, this campsite offers a lot of different options. And it is uh, a, about eight minute walking to the subway from the campsite. And then when you take the subway, it takes you to the city center within three minutes. So all in all together, when you go from the campsite to the, the main venue, for example, it will take you about 20 to 25 minutes with the public transport. But you can also walk for free if you like walking. It's about 35 minutes. Then. I'm just waiting for that link to come into the chat. Seems quite delayed, this chat. 35 minutes, DD. If you wanted, uh, if you wanted to go uh, for free, that means you would walk from the campsite, take the free ferry, and then walk from the sta train station to the main venue, which will take about thirty-five minutes. Two swift walk. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. So, John, you're still not seeing the link because I have it. No. Nah. Here, I wonder why it's not getting to you. Feel free to share it. Um, well, no uh, way. Uh, well, you probably uh, won't. I'll break everything if I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it. I didn't get that. I didn't get that last thing. I got the OBA. Is the last one I've got. Oh, there we go. It's just there it goes. All right. So, um, share that. So on the campsite, the whole core team and all of our speakers, we will all stay on this campsite. So we hope that the people attending will do the same thing because it's just uh, the cheapest option there. It's very, very uh, relaxed atmosphere. It's, it's not in the busy city center. So I think there's only uh, good things about this accommodation. But of course, if people want to stay somewhere else, you're free to do so. You said 100 100 euro or 80 euro a, um, a night to stay in the hostels that's bloody changed good grief 20 euro is what i was paying last time i went <laughs> where'd you get that from john well you stagger off the train you go up to the nearest thing that said stay here and you'd walk in and they'd give you a tiny little oh, room you're on about the, pla the, the places that are available in the city center now yeah, the hostels. Well, yeah. they were just shared rooms and things, really. You've been there. You know what it's like. Well, yeah, that cheap. I got. I had a grotty room or two. Um, but even then, they weren't cheap. <clears throat> they weren't like. So I don't mean to interrupt real they quick. Were Florence. They were. It was it was, a while sorry. Ago, Go ahead, thank. I said, I'm going to have to interrupt real quick. We are joined by a very special guest at the moment. I just wanted to make sure we got him in while we could. So I want to say a quick hello to Jason Lingren, of the Secrets of Saturn show, co-host with Crow777. Jason, welcome. 
Welcome, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hi, right, Jason. Nope, looks like I missed him. <laughs> he was right here in the waiting room. I One saw him. Click Damn. away, Josh. Where literally. We? Literally. You are literally one click away. Damn. That's it. That's right. Now. I will send him an email back. <laughs> if it's a do a space, I've got to pop off for about a quarter of an hour. I can always come back and then try and get back on. No, it's nothing to do with space. We can get loads on here, I think. Uh, Zoom's got loads on it. <clears throat> Um, I'm still not, I mean, I'm seeing a link to accommodation, but not sort of um, an address of where the campsite is. It, have you got something that I can whack into Google Maps or whatever? And I will, I will send it to you right now. Okay, cool. Really nice, John. Really uh, kind of cool because you've got Amsterdam there and then you've got this nice place to actually chill out. Is this uh, it? Pioneer Centre? No, that's Kiddyminster. <laughs> that ain't no Amsterdam. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the Zoom chat as well for the, the address for the campsite. Excellent. So there you can, there's cabins, isn't there? Um, and there's camping and camper vans and caravans. That's an issue. Is it welcome as well? And yes, you can bring your camper van. You can bring a tent, or you can go for a TP or a cabin. And uh, there's a different price range for everybody. But uh, the important thing with the cabins is it's for four people. So, for example, to get a cabin for uh, three nights, it would cost you about seventy euros per person for three nights. I don't know if I'm sure. So about $30, 30 or well, less than that, 25 euros a night. Yeah, something like that, yes. For the for the cabins, the, the teepees are a bit cheaper. You have a different option for everybody. But we're mainly uh, looking at the cabins at this point. Okay, so That's it's north, north from um, central, from the train station. So it's over the, over the canal. And just north of the center. Yeah, so if you arrive at the train station, it will take you about 15 minutes to get to the campsite if you would walk. Looks lovely. Dishova. Ooh, yeah, it does look nice. So those are the little cabins, for example. Yeah. That's mine, John. Little oh, well. smoke houses. They all have the... Uh, they have four beds, so it's two bunk beds in each cabin. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, if you compare the very oh, busy oh, city center, this is just a quiet spot to relax and, and get together in the evening. It's a lovely place. That sounds like my kind of place. There's the park over the oh. road, isn't there? Lot? Yeah, big. <laughs> Park over there. Get in there. There's about five or six parks in Amsterdam. There's a lot of a lot of green there. The biggest one are, are in the south of the center. Hmm. Stayed on a canal boat. Yeah, so there's a free ferry that drives about uh, every 10 minutes. It goes up and down, and it takes about not even two minutes to get from one side to the other with the ferry. You can also take your uh, your bikes for free on the ferry if you would rent a bike. I, sp I spent many an afternoon in this park. It's all walkable, though, isn't it? All of, all of the venues and the accommodation. Everything, everything is walkable. It's it max 20, 20 minutes to thirty minutes, depending how fast uh, of a walker you are. But uh, you always have to take the ferry to cross the, the channels. It's there's water everywhere in Amsterdam. There's a lot of little channels, but to cross this big one, there's about three ferries in the middle and on each side. So it doesn't matter where in the center you are, you can always find a ferry. I had to walk fifteen minutes for a decent kebab shop in Birmingham, lady. So. That's 
common law, common sense, isn't it? It's uh, synonymous, really. But I think we've been joined by Jason Lindgren. We have been joined by Jason Lindgren, and I managed to get him in this time. So, Hello. Am I, am I on? Is this working? <laughs> this is it, Jason. Welcome very much to the Iron Realm. Thank we you. Are, I really appreciate hey. the invite. Oh, we are so excited to have you. Hey, Good Jason. Evening, Jason. Hey, Travis. Hey, Jason. John Savage here. Been long-time listener to you and Crow, and great to have you on. Yeah, really good. Pleasure to meet everyone who's here. This is awesome. By the way, Travis, to finish up a point on what you were saying about the court, what you're doing is you're accepting responsibility for the corporate identity that the court is coming after you because it's an admiralty court. It's corporate law. So when you say, yes, I'm Travis, boom, they've got you because that statute is now applying to that corporate identity. At least that's the way I understand it. I'm with yeah. you on that front, Jason. Which, that's yeah, the only which is entity a... that exists in that court. You've not, when you engaged in that court with those documents, that was what was presented while in that court. You didn't go in, first of all, and declare that that isn't you. So the, the, the proceedings that took place have, have with this fictitious character in, as Jason says, the Admiralty Court. Um, right. So here... that's the trouble. Once you're engaged, you kind of that's it, the 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 skill is not engaging or engaging in that way where you do engage uh, only accept to engage with under your conditions and yeah and then just to just to go back real quick Someone's and reiterate what mouse on the wheel <laughs> sorry it's my sweet sorry truck. Travis carry on no I apologize no you're cool carry on. Uh, my, my only point that I'll, that I'll make, and then I'll, I'll, I'll uh, mute for Jason, but um, that's what I'm saying. The Admiralty Court is the fictional is the fictional existence. So that's not the way you and I would behave with each other. We would talk man to man. There's no hidden agenda. There's no hidden slip up like, oh, you said this, and now you're completely obliged to this matrix. That's not the way people operate with each other. That's not the way normal people who want to just live at peace with each other behaves. We don't create this construct and wait for you to slip up so that we can, you know, slip a noose around your neck. But the construct of the Admiralty Courts is intended to destroy. It is not intended to maintain peace. I yield the floor. Truth. Well, Jason... Do you have a couple minutes? We were going to go to break, and I I don't want to rush through this. I really want to take some time and uh, hear this shoot the moon stuff and all this cool stuff you got going on. Um, yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, then we will take a break, kill this live stream so it's not too terribly long on the back end, and we will restart it in just a few minutes. I know Adam should be on that. Um, I'm, I'm all good to go. I just want to do a quick recap, and then um, if you've got the tunes... I've got the clouds, Josh. Um, but yeah, can we maybe just do a quick recap then? Let's wrap this up and just if uh, DD, if you could. Yeah, it's one thirty for me at night, so I I am going uh, going to bed soon. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> we appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us, though, DD. I know you just got home and had to jump right on, so we appreciate you hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you, DD. Well, thank you for sharing. Uh, we have some lovely news. So if I could just finish off uh, to give a little overview and then I will let you guys continue for the rest of the show. Brilliant. Cheers, Didi. Once you've introduced the cat, can't bring a pet on and not, not say who it is. <laughs> this is Trixie, one of my cats. I have two of them. They're always wanting to be in front of the camera for some reason. <laughs> Evening, Trixie. Thank you so, so much, yeah. D.D., and we'll definitely stay in touch about getting you over there on the Ironworks in the morning with us, or the afternoon, or whatever it is for you over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you so much, guys. So I, I just want to finish out and say that the Amsterdam, Amsterdam Convention is going to be taking place the 27th until the 29th of September. And so far, we have uh, Jaren coming to the to the event. Roxanne will be a speaker. We have Patricia Steer hosting. We have Gary John. We have Brobby Davidson also attending. Adam, you're going to be there as well. I, I, I saw it today, DD, on the website. Thanks, mate. I showed my wife tonight. I said, look, <laughs> here's that picture of me. 
<laughs> so yeah, you helped us out so much with the last event. We had to invite you as a as a guest, so it only makes sense. <laughs> and then of course the uh, the last one uh, for today was uh, Jason from the Globe Light Tour. He will be joining us as well. And in two weeks, I will have uh, the first debater name coming up. So we'll keep in touch and I'll let you know more news when it comes out. Yeah, that's another good thing to reiterate is you guys will be releasing more names as we go throughout the months. Every two weeks, you're going to release someone else who's going to be showing up there because we got nine months to go. So there's still a lot of prep, a lot of work to go into this. So hats off to you. This is no small feat you guys are undertaking. Well, thank you. We enjoy it very much. And uh, there's a lot of people already lined up. We're just uh, taking the time to to make sure everything is correct. So in two weeks, we will have a new name and we will continue for the next months until uh, it's September, which is not that long. No, I'm, it's not. Josh, I'm always a big, big fan on synchronicity. Maybe we can. Tonight's been an odd one. I put a feeler out for Crow, Crow Jason. Um, they all would you be interested in coming over and odd tonight i weren't going to let it go without that synchronicity being mentioned then if you're there jason um i was probably one of the, the many fools that contacted you via email and, and the likes but this was i'm probably not the best at explaining either verbally or written but uh this is what i was talking in my email about um both gary and Didi are the last year's organisers and this year's organisers for the European and I don't know if you guys could get over but I always like throwing stuff out I'm never offended if rejected uh, but if you don't actually don't get I, I would love to I would love to let's see how things unfold that would be amazing actually everybody loves Amsterdam right yeah. <laughs> how can you not love Amsterdam <laughs> Well, my significant other has friends over there, and she probably would love to go if I could make all that happen. So we shall see. I think this sounds like a great idea, though. Awesome. Awesome. Well, then we will definitely make sure we switch information and get everybody connected and make sure that happens, because I think that would be a good time for everybody. Awesome. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for the support. It's very lovely. Thank you, Jason. We will definitely have a chat. and. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later because I have to go to bed. It's very absolutely nice. Diddy. Love oh, you yeah. so much. Thank Good you. Somewhere. Take care. Good night. Good night, Diddy. Diddy. Good night, Trixie. <laughs> Sleep well, Diddy. Good night. Can I just can I just add one thing that uh, if Zach comes over, can he please bring his knitting needles and knitting? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, it is so peaceful it to have him sitting across from you, and he's just going to town with his needles and just chatting away it's just it's brilliant there's no feeling like it it's great on the chat but having it in person the energy is just astounding <laughs> when um, really? when i actually saw him the other day when he was having a chat the other day and i thought i, I, I thought what's he got in his hands it looks like he's knitting but no it can't be like <laughs> uh, <laughs> gary you, uh, you no, might be no, looking no, no, what are your implementation what are they called zach because somebody's fussing at us in chat i'm not going to say any names Crocheting, actually. Crocheting, sorry. Yeah, Real men crochet. Yeah. Right, right, sorry. Yeah, I don't knit. Come on. No, I'm joking. I can't knit. Real, I real men. I'll learn one day. Yeah, real men crochet. I need a yeah. bumper sticker that says that. Yep. But Zach, right. could, you, could you come over and do a workshop for men? Right? Oh. That would be a yeah. good idea, yeah. That would be a really good idea. How sick. Yeah. The only thing is that we may only sell a few tickets. Yeah, probably. <laughs> thinking, oh, I'm busy that day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it, Zach. You can make one for John that comes all the way down his face with some eye holes, and then he like can go to all the conventions. The there we go. <laughs> I'd be arrested at the airport. Right. What, anyway, what, what's on we the have replay Jason now Lindgren with? here for crying out. Oh, no, let's, 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 let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Let's end this stream. I think we can do it. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and kill it real quick. Okay. So there, guys. Thanks for your time and thanks for the support. You know, hang oh, around until later, uh, Gabriel. Um, oh, I'll get, oh. wait, wait, will it be a few minutes? I can come back. Yeah, um, take a little coffee minutes. break or uh, whatever. Obviously, we're going to okay. get Roxanne and um, Jason in. Uh, obviously, I don't want to steal their thunder and you know be in their way. But You're I can, always I can, welcome I can, to sit, mate. You're all would it be, be the, the would it be the same? 
Would it be the same link? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just read down and, and we'll, you'll be there whenever you're ready to pop in. Yeah, this room right. isn't going to go anywhere. The live right. stream on YouTube, we will end. We will stay right okay. here. The stream well, will I'll, end. I'll stay right. for another half now because I've got, I've got a race in the morning. Well, I run in the morning. But yeah, there, I'll do another half now. But thanks. Give me a bit yeah, more absolutely. tunes, Josh, and I'll kill this stream. Will do. All right, well, this is everybody. This is Iron Realm Media's Have No Sphere. We had Dee Dee and Gary on. We will be joined with Jason Lindgren right at the top of the next segment talking about Shoot the Moon. His new movie, he and Crow Triple Seven are putting together. I'm so excited. I don't know, I'm giddy as a schoolgirl. Anyway, we'll be right back. You guys stick around. Thank you. 